Well, the weather is starting to change. And for us, that means we're gonna start talking more about financial planning with our clients. This week, we're gonna dive into how legacy planning might look as part of someone's financial plan. I'm here with my colleague, Mike Vickerman. I'm Jacob Tim. And this week, Mike's gonna walk us through some of the things that you might see as part of a legacy plan and charitable giving that are new and that maybe we haven't addressed before with our clients. So Mike, what do you got for us this week? Well, hello everyone. Uh, you know, it's critical that your estate plan provides a roadmap for your legacy. And so today I wanna to talk about how your will relates to your IRA and your IRA beneficiaries. So speaking of a legacy, do any of you remember the classic schoolhouse rock song called, I'm just a bill up on Capitol Hill? Well, my artwork here is dedicated to that bill, but our version is, I'm just a will. Now stick with me here, okay? Because what I think you're gonna see is that the, your IRA beneficiaries can be just as important, if not more important, than what your will is saying. So let's get started, Jake. Okay. First question is, does your will control who gets your IRA or your retirement accounts? Well, let's talk about that a little bit. You sit down with your attorney and you list out all your assets, including your IRAs. And you create a will that indicates where everything's going, including your IRAs. But then at the same time, when you open the accounts with TD Ameritrade or Schwab, you name beneficiaries on your IRA. So let's do a little example. Let's say in my will, that I name my beneficiaries to all my assets, including my IRAs, as Jake, okay? I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, he's getting <laughs> excited over here. But then, when I open my uh, accounts, at, uh, my IRA at TD Ameritrade, I put down my beautiful wife, Michelle, and our kids as the beneficiaries. That seems more appropriate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so while Jake's excited, what happens when I pass on? Well, Jake can go to, to the, uh, the probate court all day long and say, hey, the will says that I get the IRA. The judge will say, we don't control who gets uh, the IRA, benef uh, IRA assets. Mm -hmm. So the IRA and the custodian has the beneficiaries named and my wife, Michelle, would go give the death certificate to us as the advisors and TD Ameritrade would set up inherited IRAs mm -hmm. for my kids and they would allow my spouse Michelle to roll her portion over to her IRA. So no, the will does not control the beneficiaries of your IRA. And that's certainly been a common misconception that we see all of the time when clients come in and say, I have my will in place. It doesn't really matter what I do on the beneficiary side with my IRAs. Yeah, exactly. So why, why is that? Well, think of the will controlling the assets that you own individually. And think of the IRA as almost, almost its own little trust. And you actually are just a beneficiary of your own IRA. So if you think of it that way, it kind of makes a little bit more sense, mm -hmm. but a lot of people don't understand that. Sure. So sometimes also you sit down with your, your attorney and after you get done naming the beneficiaries of your IRA and your will, then you, he tells you to come to us and say, can I change my beneficiaries to my estate? Mm. So question number two is, what happens then? Yeah. So if I cover up these beneficiaries on my IRA and I put in estate, then what happens is that upon my death, the assets have to be liquidated and distributed. And remember, these, this IRA, there's never been tax paid on this. So somebody's gonna pay the tax on this IRA as it's distributed. Sure. So if this is my, named as my estate, then the assets are distributed, they're put into the estate for distribution to the beneficiaries, but there's a massive tax hit because we have graduated rates and if you take out your entire IRA of say a million dollars, then the majority of your IRA is gonna be taxed at the highest individual tax rate of Absolutely. 37%. The third question then is, why should people or charities be named to inherit my IRA. Yeah, we hear about that a lot come this time of year as people want to start looking at their charitable giving plan. Exactly. So the reason is, is because your children have a life expectancy. Now it used to be that your children could spread the inherited IRA distributions out over their remaining life, which could be 40 plus years. That was a great tax planning, you know, uh, sure. idea. But at the end of 2019, Congress and the president signed a law that changed that. And you probably heard about it in terms of 
your required minimum distribution used to be at age 70 and a half, mm -hmm. and now it's at age 72. Yep. But in that bill, it also uh, changed the way that IRAs, inherited IRAs are distributed and taxed. And the rule now is that your children can only spread the tax and distributions of that IRA over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So we'll be instructing your kids, depending on their tax situation, to probably be paying that out one tenth each year over a 10 year period. So that brings up my last point. And that is in the past, we always would look at where, if you wanna to give to charities uh, through your will or through your IRA, you know, it depended on your assets. Today, I think it's a much better case that if you wanna to give to a charity, you should give it through your IRA. And it's something that we'll talk to you as your advisors about. But think of it this way. If you give IRA money to your charity, it's a tax-free gift. And so even though this has never been taxed, the charity will also ne never pay any tax. So if you had a million dollar IRA and, in your, and, you, and you decided in your estate planning you wanted to give $200,000, to a charity, I would give that $200,000 through your IRA and then give the remaining amounts to your children uh, as inherited IRAs. So that's what I want to talk about because I want, I want to make sure that your legacy uh, is, uh, is planned out and is executed in a way that is most tax efficient uh, for you. Great information, Mike. This is one of those topics that sometimes gets very confusing and complex for clients. Just know that we got your back. This is something that we should be reviewing on a regular basis. And as laws change and your lives change, this is something that we'll keep up with. Thanks again, everyone, for joining Thank us you. this week. Uh, enjoy your weekend.